This is a clarified satire cocktail, and I must say it is part of the best clarified milk punch that I made. I say it was probably 50% luck and 50% knowledge gain in past experiments. And today I'm gonna talk about all that I made to achieve that level of deliciousness. Also, have you seen that beautiful color? That's because I'm using Empress 1908 Gen Today, who is the sponsor of today's video. But before we make the clarified milk punch, I would also like to talk and make a classic satire because I wanna have a point of comparison. That's not true. I'm just craving for one. So if you guys are ready, let's do it. The Saturn is one of the best known tiki cocktails that uses gin as a based spirit. And fun fact, even though we all think of rum when we hear tiki, gin is the second most used spirit in that category. This cocktail was created by bartender J. Popo Galsini, and it was brought to the world in 1978 when he won with this cocktail the World Championship of the International Bartenders Association. It's a brilliant and delicious concoction of gin, passion fruit syrup, orgia, phalernum, and lemon. We oftentimes see that cocktail served over crushed ice, but I believe given the sugar content, it is even better when it's served frozen. Today I chose to make this cocktail with Ampress, mainly for the botanicals and the flavor profile of the gin. The ginger used in the gin highlights the flavor of the phalernum. The slightly hearty notes provided by the tea tries the cocktail just a little bit. And then we have a beautiful juniper front palette that shines through the bold flavors of the cocktail. So if you wanna get a bottle for yourself to follow along, or if you wanna know more about Impress, I'm gonna link everything in the description down below. So now, all that being said, let's go make the cocktail, and for once, I'm very excited, I'm gonna make it behind a real bar, so I'm dying to say something, but I'm gonna say it only once on this channel, I promise, sorry Anders, but I have to. To the bar. So first, in a blender, we're gonna pour one and a half ounces or 45 mils of Empress 1908 gin, half an ounce or 15 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice, a quarter of an ounce or 7.5 mils of phalernum, half an ounce or 15 mils of passion fruit syrup, and quarter of an ounce or 7.5 mils of orgia. Then we're gonna add 200 grams of ice, we're gonna blend until smooth, and we're gonna serve this in a Collins glass. We're gonna add a straw and a lemon zest garnish with a cocktail cherry. And there we go for the frozen Saturn cocktail. Now, let's go give it a try. Cheers. Mm, this is a pure delight. First, we get a beautiful kick of juniper because of the impress, amazing tropical flavors, and a great texture. When I say that this cocktail for me is better served frozen, it's because I think it helps to balance the sweetness of the drink with the extra dilution. But now, for the clarified version. You guys all know by now I love to do that, but it's not all the cocktails that work well with milk clarification. But here, I had the feeling I would have the perfect candidate. With its bold and rich flavors, I was pretty sure that the milk washing would will not only help to smoothen and brighten some flavors, it would also help with the balance of the drink. So here's what I did. First, in a mixing glass, I poured 2.5 ounces or 75 mils of Empress Gin, 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of overproof white Jamaican rum, 1 and a half ounces or 45 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice, 3 quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of phalernum, one and a half ounces or 45 mils of passion fruit syrup, and three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 mils of orgia. Stir just a little bit, and then in another mixing glass, pour two ounces of whole milk, but just don't do like I did and try not making a mess. Then you're gonna pour your cocktail over the milk and filter it through a wet coffee filter. Then you're gonna wait about one minute until the dripping liquid gets clear. Once you've reached that point, you're gonna switch vessel and re-pour the cloudy liquid over the unfiltered mixture. Then it's a game of time. You have to wait and wait and wait. Once you're done with the whole clarification and filtration process, you're gonna add two and a half ounces or 75 mils of Empress Gin once again. Then you're gonna bottle it up and stir it in the fridge until thirsty. When you're ready, you're simply gonna pour any mixing glass three ounces or 90 mils of your clarified cocktail, fill the mixing glass with ice and give it a good stir for about 60 revolutions. Then you're gonna strain in an old-fashioned glass filled up with ice and garnish it with half a passion fruit and a cocktail cherry. Cheers. Mm. This is for me a great example of what milk punch can be. 
It is extremely smooth and packed with flavors. And here I was very surprised how well the almond, the spices from the Falernum and the passion fruit flavors are still really present in the drink. But you know, when you milk wash a cocktail, the booze tends to be very muted and more like in the back palate. And I still wanted to have all the botanicals from the gin, so that's why I only added half of the quantity prior to clarification. I think it was a very clever move because now we still get that beautiful juniper and all the subtleties from the botanicals from the Empress and it's really, really lovely. I also want to talk about why I added rum to this recipe, which is not part of the original specs. That was mainly because I wanted to ease the clarification because I cut off half of the gin prior to milk washing and it turned out amazing. Another thing that turned out amazing is the color. You saw it when we made the cocktail, it was brought back after the clarification and I was very surprised to see that. Of course it was enhanced when we added more gin afterward, but this is not something that usually happens when you milk wash a drink. Usually you just strip down all the color. And one last reason why I believe this cocktail turned out so well is because the infusion of tea in the Impress. When you look at all milk punch recipes, there's always tea involved. That's because of their tannins. It really helps after the clarification to hold up on the flavors and it ties everything together. So this was a great pick. So my friends, before we go, if you wanna know more about this beautiful gin, once again, the link's gonna be in the description down below. And if you are in the US and want your own bottle, well, curiata.com will hook you up. So guys, that's it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you wanna be notified when we post a new one. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers.